Okay, welcome to part two of the snake game in Python 3 for beginners. Uh, in this part, we are going to be working on creating the snake head and making it move around the screen. As you can see so far, we've got a window that is 600 by 600 pixels, and that's about it. So let's get started. Okay, so what we need to do, uh, we're going to first create the actual snake head. And we're just going to basically be using a turtle object, and the turtle is going to be a square. We're going to keep it simple. Uh, we could do triangles and kind of make a turn, but let's just keep this simple because this is for beginners. And I'm going to give it a good name like head, and I'm going to call it turtle.turtle. And again, notice the capitalization here. This is a small t. This is a capital T. And that will actually create the turtle. Now, when we create the turtle, we have to give it a few properties. And we're going to use this one called speed zero. Now this is actually not the actual speed that's going to move on the screen, but it's the animation speed of the turtle like module. And so we want to set that to zero because what that does is it's the fastest animation speed. There's no slowdown. We want it to move as fast as humanly possible. Uh, the next thing is we're going to give it a shape, and we're going to make it a square. Again, notice the capitalization here. We're going to give it a color, and I'm going to make mine black. You can make yours whatever color you want, of course. Um, turtles, the thing about turtles is they draw lines. Um, that's what they were kind of designed to do originally, but we're using the turtle model module in a different way. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the pen up so that it does not draw anything. And when the head starts, we want it to be in the center of the screen. Now actually, turtle module, things actually always start in the center of the screen, but it's good practice to set things the way you want them. And in my version of the game, I'm going to have the head the direction is going to be stopped. So when it starts, it's going to sit there in the middle. And this will become useful later. OK, so again, before I move on, I'm going to test it. Now again, I'm using Visual Studio Code. I'm doing this on Linux, but it should work on Mac and Windows as well. So I run Python file in terminal. And if you look, does anybody see a black turtle? I do not. OK, now the reason is. If you recall, sorry, I mentioned this in the last lesson, this turns off the screen updates. And this is what actually lets our module go as fast as possible for what we need it. Um, so what I have to do is I'm going to make the main game loop down here. Okay. So I'm going to call this main game loop. And I'm going to use a while true loop. And what this does is it just repeats over and over and over again. Now I notice here I'm using four spaces to indent. That is the preferred method. You can use tabs, it doesn't matter. But whatever you use, it has to all be the same. And I'm going to do win.update. So what that does is every time through this loop, it updates the screen. So the reason we didn't see that turtle, or the head, which is a turtle, uh, is that we didn't update the screen. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to drag that down, and there it is. Okay, Now, if you're on a Mac, sometimes, uh, because there's just a, a little bit of code here, uh, you'll get the little spinny beach ball of doom. Just ignore that. Everything's working fine. Um, once we start adding code, that will go away. Uh, Macs are pretty picky and finicky. Okay, so we've got our head on the screen. So the next thing we need to do is to make it move. Okay, So I'm going to make a function for this turtle, for my for my little head turtle. And so I'm going to make a section here, and I'm going to call that functions. And I don't actually have to do it this way. I'm just doing it this way. There's, I could put it in the main loop. It doesn't matter. But it's a good idea to get in the practice of making functions where you can. So I'm going to make a new function, and I'm going to call it move. That's what I want the turtle to do. And notice everything here is indented. So I'm going to say if head.direction equals up, there's only really four directions, up, down, left, right. I'm going to take the current y coordinate. So this, I'm going to say a new variable called y. And it is the y coordinate of the variable. And I'm going to say head.set y, y plus 20. Okay. So when my turtle starts, its y coordinate is 0. So the first time I call the move function, if the head direction is up, it'll move up by 20 each time. Okay. So now, if you recall here, I set the initial direction 
to stop. Let's change that to up. And let's run it. And I'll tell you now, nothing's going to happen. I'll explain why in a second. Now it's just doing nothing. Okay, so I'm going to close that. The reason is that I did not call the function. I define the function here, but to actually use it, you have to call it. And now I want to call that every time through the loop. So I'm going to say move. And I'm going to run it again. Okay. Now, this is where beginners get start to get really confused. Okay, they're like, oh my gosh, I don't see I don't see the turtle, I don't see the head, something's wrong, and they start texting me. And that's great, I don't mind answering questions, but you gotta think about what's happening here. Um, it's actually working just fine. So if you look down here, we didn't get an error message, which is, which is always a good sign. What's going on here is the turtle actually moved off the screen faster than we could see it. Okay, because this loop is, is just so, so fast because it's a computer. So we're gonna actually need to add a little delay into here. To do that, we're gonna use something called the time module. So I'm gonna go back up to here where I'm doing my imports. I'm gonna import time. And then, so we're gonna create a delay. I could call this D, I can call it X, it doesn't matter. Computer doesn't know, but this is for people. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with a delay of 0 0.1 seconds. Okay, now, on my computer that works pretty well. Your computer might run at a different speed, so you might have to play with that a little bit. So down here in the main loop, I'm going to time.sleep delay. Okay. So delay is 0 0.1 seconds. And it's going to basically what happens is it does win.update, it does move, and then it stops the program for about one tenth of a second. So let's try that. Okay. I just barely got it down there. So I don't know if you saw it. Let's try it one more time. Oops. Oh, sorry. It's so fast. I can't, I can't catch it. Um, but it is working. So if you see it now, it's moving up off the screen. So that's exactly what we wanted. Okay. So uh, now the computer, it has four directions. Okay. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Sorry, I'm not sure. Okay, you can hear I, I set my, my Alexa there is uh, woke up there for a second. So I need to do down. And so in that case, it's going to be Y minus 20. I'm going to do left. So that's going to be x, not y. Oops. So we need the x coordinates, not the y coordinates. Okay, because x minus 20. And oops, I think we already have that. And this one is also going to be x. Okay. Now, what I could do, since x is equal to x, I could just copy this, put it there, and then take this line out. That will work just 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 fine. Uh, but what I like to do is for beginners, I like to spell out each and every line so you can see what's happening. Okay, but yeah, you could just combine that into one line. So let's uh, try right and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna run it. Okay, and something is not working. So let's direction equals right. Okay, because I've set y. <laughs> So that should be set x. So that was a weird problem. And we'll see, this should be also be set x. Okay. And yeah, it's sometimes hard to code and to talk at the same time. Okay, so you can see it's moving off to the right of the screen. Okay, so far so good. Uh, I'm gonna put this back to stop. Let's save that. Now the next thing I need to do is to make some functions so that we can actually change the direction of the, of the head. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to make a function, I'm going to say def, I'll, let's just do go up first. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is when I call go up, I'm going to say head.direction equals up. Okay. Now if you know a little bit more about the Python turtle module, there's a couple different ways I could have done this. I'm just doing this because I think it's very clear. Um, so let's just go ahead and do the rest of them really quick. Okay, so we got up, we got down, down, we've got left, we've got left, we've got right, and right. Okay. 
Now notice, again, it's a function, so I have to call this function somehow to get it to work. So what we're going to do down here is, let me make that a little bit bigger for you. What we're going to do down here is we're going to do something called keyboard bindings. And what this does is it connects a key press with a particular function. So what we have to do is we have to call win.listen. Okay? And this WN is the same WN as here. So this is the window. So we're telling the window to listen for clicks or for key presses. And we're going to do WN.onKeyPress. Now, if you have Python 2.7, it's on key. Okay, on, on key press doesn't exist. Uh, but Python 3 it is on key press. So go up and I'm going to use W, A, S, and D. If you want to use the up arrow, it would be up. Okay, so W, oops, W. So I'm going to copy that. So we have go up, go down. So down is going to be S. Uh, left is going to be A. And right is going to be D. Notice these are lowercase. Okay? And this go up is the same as this go up. Now notice here we have go up with parentheses. Down here we do not. Okay, so don't make that mistake, otherwise it will not work. Okay, so let's run it and oops, let's run it and see if I can control the snake. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I've got an error, invalid syntax on line one, which is pretty rare. Let's go up to line one. Okay, it doesn't look like anything wrong there. Let me restart that. And yeah, I typed the clicked the wrong thing. Okay, something is wrong. Let me see if I can sort this out real quick. Oh. Oh, sorry. It says uh, indentation error. I should have read that a little higher. Uh, indentation error. Sure, oh, it says line one, but head dot direction equals. So there's a problem somewhere at that line. And it looks fine to me. So basically, I saw indentation, so I'm just going to check and see if I can find where there might be an indentation error. Looks fine. Everything's looking good. Save that and run it again. Okay, I'm going to pause this until I can figure it out. Sorry. Okay, I realized what the problem was. Um, when I right-clicked, I, I think I did this run selection line in Python terminal, and that got me into Python, so I have to exit Python and then just go ahead and run it again in the terminal this time. Okay, and it pops up. Okay, so if you remember, we use W, A, S, and D. It's going to push W. It starts moving up. A, S. Oops, S didn't work. We'll go back. Okay, so something's wrong with S. So let's check that, take a look at that. Ah, down should be S. Okay, so you guys probably noticed that, but I did not as I was typing and talking at the same time. Okay, so let's just review what we did here. Uh, we've got four new functions. Well, we've got actually five functions, I guess. Uh, we've created our turtle head, and we've created a function that moves the turtle uh, 20 pixels in either direction, whatever direction it's going in. And then we have a little sleep delay, so it doesn't go too fast for us. And then what we do is we've got these functions that are connected to these key presses. So W, uh, A for left, S for down, W is up, sorry, D is right. So when we call those, it changes the direction here. And then when it gets to this function, depending on which direction it's going in, it moves in that direction. Okay, so that was a bit complicated. Um, it's going to get a little bit more complicated in the next part where we do the snake body. But once we do that, then the rest of the game is pretty straightforward. Hope you stay tuned. Thank you.